going to show you how to collimate a Newtonian reflector telescope using a collimated laser collimator. Uh, now I'm going to take my laser collimator, which has a two inch adapter over here, and I will put this into the telescope facing downwards. So this open white area facing downwards towards the back of the telescope. And then lock it in place securely. You can see the opening on the collimator facing back here. So at the back, you can see these three taller locking screws and the, uh, the shorter collimating screws. So when I turn on the laser, you can see the laser going down from the, from the top and hitting the secondary mirror. And then it's projecting a bright red dot onto the edge of that donut. So if I turn the laser off and on, you can see where the laser hits the edge of the donut. We want that part to be hitting the very center of the donut. For that, you need to adjust the collimation screws uh, along the outer edge of the secondary mirror. So uh, in most telescope, your telescopes, you're going to have some Allen bolts and you're gonna need an Allen key to adjust the three collimation screws at the back of the secondary. Most telescopes only have three of them. If you have bobs, knobs installed, then uh, you can just do it by hand like I'm doing it. In some cases, you may have to gently loosen the center bolt just a tiny bit to be able to make any changes to these. But in most cases, you just loosen one and tighten the other two to move the laser dot around. As I adjust these secondary collimation screws on the outside, you can see that dot moving. Okay, we are at the very center. Once that's done, half of your job is done. Now what we need to do is turn the telescope around. So you can see the laser dot hitting near the center of the collimator here, but just a little bit up. So now we need to adjust the back of the primary mirror to move that red laser dot right into the center. That'll align our primary mirror to the secondary mirror and to our optical axis over here where the camera or the eyepiece normally goes. So you want to loosen the taller bolts. In almost all the telescopes, the taller, taller bolts are the locking bolts. I loosen the, the tall ones a little bit and then tighten the short, fat ones. And as I do that, you can see the laser moving. There we go, we've got it almost in the center. If you don't see that red dot, it means that your collimation might be quite a bit out. So then you might have to move it around a little bit more to be able to center that. So now my dot is right in the center. If I turn this off and on, you can see that the dot is exactly in the center. Once that's done, just gently tighten your taller locking bolts. That's these tall ones. You don't want to tighten these down too hard. These are just for holding things in place. And uh, now I'll just, just gently, very, very gently, just lock them a little bit so the primary mirror does not move. And just make sure that it doesn't affect the actual collimation. So my red dot is still in the exact center there. And uh, we are good to go. Okay, that's it. That is all you need to know to collimate your Newtonian reflector. So thanks for watching and I hope you found that useful. Clear skies.